Follow us as 18 Lawrenceville students discover the Peruvian Amazon and reflect on the trip's most memorable moments. Embark with us on an adventure that none of us were expecting and experience the most fantastic times of the spring break trip that led us to the heart of the rainforest. Like any good story, we must start at the beginning. During our five hour delay at JFK, my fellow travelers told me about their fears, expectations, and why they decided to come on this trip. Um, I guess my biggest fear are the bot flies, the ones that like dig into your flesh and like eat you when they're larvae. Um, I think they're pretty gross. And then I expect it to kind of be like Tarzan with like all the vines and like the really big trees you like swing around and climb on. And I know that's a little like unrealistic, but I thought it might be like that. Um, maybe being bit by like a snake or something. And that's pretty much it. I think anything else I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm really afraid of spiders, so the tarantula <laughs> situation is scaring me a little bit. But I'm sure I'll be okay when I get there. I'm kind of just excited to see everything. I'm like more afraid of not experiencing that. We're exactly 27 hours, but we are finally in Quito. So we're on the boat and we just got on about like half an hour ago and we're all really anxious and we don't know what to expect and like when daylight comes we don't know what we're going to see. Um, I guess my impression so far is like it's kind of nighttime, but what's amazing is how dark it is because there's really like no one around. I mean we're in the middle of like nowhere. Like we're going down this river and there's like no other people and it's really surreal. When daylight finally came, so did the heat, so our group decided to stop the boat and swim in the very famous, very brown, Amazon River. Sarah, is that a payment over there? <laughs> we finally arrived at our home for the next week and a half. It's incredible how remote of a location this camp is. Aside from a handful of local fishermen, we are essentially all alone in the jungle, hours away from any real civilization, and for most of us, this thought was exhilarating. It's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. really <laughs> secluded, though. I've, like, never what seen anything like it. He's moved a lot. He's really yeah. tiny. He's, like, that big. Well, this is and then we'll examine. Oh, he's really feisty. While we all had our own individual projects to work on, the group as a whole worked together on the bats. Every night we would catch them in nets, weigh them, take their blood, and draw their wingspan before returning them to nature. All of this was to help our teacher, Mr. Sirax, long-term study on bats in the Amazon. After years of collecting information, he's become quite an expert. While the group as a whole was working on the bats, Tess and I had our own project, studying predation levels on caterpillars in different areas of the rainforest. To test this, we made dummy caterpillars that were made out of neon clay and placed them in different areas for extended periods of time. We used rubber cement to either glue them at eye level or to the ground in an area that was considered to be either closed canopy, edge, or out in the open. Our results showed not only what types of animals were attempting to eat these caterpillars, but also in what locations were experiencing the most predation. Working on my project was one of my favorite parts of the trip but I know others enjoy different aspects as well. A lot of people really enjoyed going to the local village, about 20 minutes away by boat ride. It was amazing to see the village and interact with the people who live there. While we were in Peru, they were celebrating a holiday, Carnival. They immediately wanted to incorporate our group in their celebrations, so we were soon all spotted with red face paint and began to dance with the tribe. After all the fun, we went to a larger hut to trade. We brought all sorts of goods, old t-shirts, stickers, candy, hats, pants, and even toy cards to trade for their local goods. But afterwards, we played soccer with the locals, whose skills were far superior to our own. Our time in the Amazon flew by, and afterwards we headed back into Iquitos for the last leg of our adventure. We had never seen Iquitos during the daytime, so we were surprised to see their means of transportation. These rides were entertaining and brought up memories of Mario Kart, but also delivered us to a place like no other, Monkey Island. La es la Isla de los Monos on Monkey Island. What is that? It's a project whose aim is to protect and preserve the flora and fauna of the Amazon rainforest. 
In this place, we are working and living 13 years. Hola. This is so cool. Hi, monkeys. After we got back from Monkey Island, Alex and I ventured into the main market of Iquitos, and Alex decided to try something a little different. Did we try to figure out? You like them. I did. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Ready? Eat stuff? Hot. Really, really hot. Um, so this is the key just for three girls. Yummy. What was your favorite part of the My trip? My favorite part. I really enjoyed the boat trip to the uh, site and back. I just loved like hanging out on the boat. That was really nice. Monkey Island was amazing. That's definitely a plus. But my brother would be really jealous. He's obsessed with monkeys. Everyone's I really liked kayaking and swimming in the Amazon. Okay, so my favorite part of the trip was visiting all the villages for my project. Holding a tarantula in the sea, which I was really scared of, but it was really cool. I loved it. I'm so happy I came. So happy I came. I loved it. So you guys are happy you came? Yeah, oh, definitely. Before we knew it, our two weeks in Peru were over. We had experiences that most of us had never even dreamed of, and we grew very close as a group. During our trip, we learned more about the Amazon rainforest than we ever could have experienced in a classroom. It was a moving adventure as we discovered a world that seemed so far away from our own.